Hello. Uh, Mongrel Shark make me curious about this stepper motor circuit from Team Man. And I watched Team Man's video and Lead Motors video and Mongrel Shark's video. And this is really nice if uh, to have another desulfation method for the batteries and uh, here is the circuit, the original circuit from Team Man. I mean, uh, I don't have uh, the resistor I place it an LED and a 10k potentiometer and I'm using an MGA 13005 the TIP 31C work it too and I place the battery in here this one uh, to test And, uh, my running battery is with uh, 12.39 volts. The charging battery is with 8.485. The meter amp meter is on a half an, an amp scale, less than a milliamp. scale and uh, oh, there is uh, another meter is on a 10 milliamp scale here and I'll give a try to make this run again it here and, uh, this is a step motor from a printer old printer so here it goes here we go let me see if this will work again yeah we are working the step motor is running here is the LED to the base oh it died yeah it must be on the minimum resistance to run so here is the step motor the MGA 355 sorry MGA 13005 the circuit is taking 230 milliamps to run and uh, the battery is getting about let's say a little bit more than a quarter of a micro amp and the voltage climbed to 9.2 volts this is a very old battery I'm, I'm trying to recover this using uh, the chargers from my last video and well it seemed to be running very nice circuit team man thank you for sharing this did motor for 
introducing his version of the circuit and mongrel shark to make me curious about it now uh, I'll let this run and see what will be the results okay uh, I had this breadboard it was a, a problematic project I already had this potentiometer and a diode and an LED uh, I burned the last LED and uh, my TIP31 I placed it in here the battery was discharged to 74 the running battery is there with 12.2 Volts uh, connections are made. Try to run the first test on the board. Uh, place this in here and connect the positive. Oh, uh, I've tested with another battery, the other battery was with 12 volts and uh, when I connected the positive in here, this LED blowed just, here is a piece of the LED that blowed away and now with a discharged battery I can safely connect the positive and try to well it's working the step motor gets hot I think I'll place it on a heat sink and uh, finish the just to cut off finish the board and uh, finish this project too so this is the step by step replication uh, from Team MAMS I'll continue finishing this project very cool okay let me finish this project this is the way I was able to wire the stepper motor I have it worked both ways I mean I've changed the order of the wires to try to see if the motor uh, did not get hot but both ways the motor gets hot and uh, I'm using a TIP31C and uh, this is the T-Man circuit and then uh, following T-Man's video I've placed the charging battery 
uh, fly back to the positive and negative back to the positive of the circuit. I've made uh, the previous tests were okay, so I've, I've created a, a board of a base for this uh, circuit step by stepper and uh, this will be the first run everything is wired uh, positive uh, negative positive and negative from the batteries the connections are okay I think it's okay this will be the first run so everything's connected I just have to give a, a kick on the model well, it's working Now I uh, have to to test uh, the circuit and uh, see if this battery gets better. I guess that the only time will tell and few more experiments and thank you for watching so this is uh, Team Man's step by stepper replication uh, used for battery desulfation the power consumption from the running battery is about uh, from 200 to 250 milliamps and as I'm using a crystal battery uh, this battery can, can, can run this step by step for a long time my only concern is about the heat from the engine I did not found a, a fan to connect here. Maybe if I connect a fan in here, fan blade, it can cool the the engine, the stepping motor. And here we are. Team man step by stepper replication. Uh, here is the circuit. And uh, I removed this LED in here. There is no LED in here. Without this LED, uh, the motor uh, got a higher RPM. So it's just sorry, my cat was playing with the tripod. And I'm using a TIP 31C. Here I'm using a 10K potentiometer. Uh, here is a 1N41. And well, my nickname is Shoei. Today is 14th, uh, 2013, and this is the step by stepper uh, by Team Man.
Okay. Let's see how this will what this will do to my battery. Thank you for watching.